Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to calculate agent required in call center. So I have three columns, the daily, weekly, monthly. Based on this, let's calculate the number of FTs required. So I have segregated in three, four categories. The first one is the volume and time required. So here, what is the volume and what is the time required for this volume to manage? And then what is the time available per FT on a weekly basis, daily basis and monthly basis? And then we have few exclusions which we need to consider while calculating the FTs like break time, meeting, coaching and uh, etc. And then we have this, uh, we have considered the occupancy percentage and also we have considered the shrinkage percentage to calculate the total FT required. So now let's start with the volume and time required. Before that this tracker is absolutely free. If you are interested you can download from the link provided in the description below. So the first category is on the volumes and time required. So total volume we have this average call per week uh, per day is 1400. Likewise we have weekly for 7000 and monthly we have 2 to 28000. So average handling time will remain same uh, across the uh, whether it's on a daily, weekly, monthly, it is uh, 300 uh, seconds. Uh, so that means like uh, five minutes. So time required, total time required, that's again in the seconds will be uh, the my average volume multiplied by uh, the time that is average handling time in seconds. Press enter, I get the total average time, total time required to manage 1400 volumes. Then we have the time available, so per FT, so shift timing is 9 hours, so working day is 1, so total time will be uh, is equal to uh, shift timing multiplied by total working hours multiplied by, so since this is in hours, I need to convert into seconds, for that I multiplied by 60, this will make, this will convert the hours into uh, minutes and again multiplied by 60, this will convert from minutes to seconds. So you have 32,400 uh, seconds uh, per FT uh, working for 9 hours. Then we have the exclusions. So for example, if the shift timing is nine hours, so you will have a break time of one hour, uh, probably like a 50, 30 minutes uh, lunch break and two short breaks of 50 minutes. And then you have a team meeting, coaching, etc. as a 0.5 is again uh, 30 minutes. Again, you can make the changes as per your requirement. Uh, so this uh, entire table is flexible. For example, even starting from volumes, if you want to make the changes as 1700, you just need to type, uh, type 1700 and press enter, the entire table will be updated. Likewise, you can change the uh, average handling time as uh, 500 and press enter, the entire table will be changed. So let me press Ctrl Z to redo it. Okay, so now so you have this exclusion. So to calculate exclusion, what I did is, uh, let me press F to the formula. So this is the sum of F12 to F14. It means the break time, the coaching time, and also I left one uh, blank so that you can uh, update if something is there for you. You just need to input the numbers here. So same will be considered for the exclusion. Multiplied by uh, the number of working days is one in this case because we are calculating for uh, daily. Multiplied by 60, again multiplied by 60 because the hours we are converting into seconds. So once we have this time exclusion in seconds, then uh, let's, uh, let's calculate the net available time before occupancy that for this, what we need to do is the total time available per FT that is 32,400 minus the exclusion time of 5,400. So this will give the total available time before occupancy. And then we have this uh, occupancy percentage. Again, it's 90% I've considered. Again, I have a separate video uh, to explain how to calculate the occupancy. You can refer that. So once you have this, I just multiplied this to 227,000 multiplied by uh, this occupancy press center. You get uh, uh, time available after uh, considering the occupancy. Also, uh, this average handling time, what we consider as 300. Again, I have a separate video on this, uh, how to calculate the average handling time. You can refer that for uh, more understanding on this topic. Now we have this. So let's calculate uh, calls per agent. It's pretty simple. So whatever the uh, time available um, uh, divided by the average handling time is our call per agent. It means one person can make uh, 81 calls in a day if he is working for uh, nine hours shift uh, after the exclusion 
uh, at an average of five minutes per uh, call then we have this uh, uh, after uh, call agent uh, this is the total uh, agent we required uh, to manage 1400 because one FT can manage 81 volume it means then for 1400 volumes what is the FT required again pretty simple calculation so 1400 divided by whatever the call per agent press center you get the uh, agent required before shrinkage and now again we have the shrinkage I have considered 15% again I have made a separate video on this topic you can refer that shrinkage is a combination of uh, planned and unplanned leave so I have considered a 15% to calculate uh, agent required after shrinkage uh, I first consider this uh, FT is required plus and then open bracket uh, FT required multiplied by 15% uh, of shrinkage close bracket press center you get the total FT or agent required after shrinkage so this is how you calculate the number of FTs required on a daily basis on weekly basis it's exactly the same calculation only changes is like working days will be fine and monthly again you have uh, same calculation only changes is uh, uh, 20 working days